Welcome to the OSRS podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things with RuneScape-related content creators. Upload every Sunday. Slap the like button, or we cry every time. I am Mitt Cat, one of your hosts, followed by the sexy people down below. What's going on, boys? Regsy here. How's it going? And Rice Cup here. So we have two guests this week. One of and them. I'll be introducing. All, oh, go ahead. Boy, I thought we were going like up and down. It's already <laughs> yeah, over. Do it, do it, do all it. right, we got my boy Mr. Clean over here. Olive, he does some yeah. Iron Man PK or content, and uh, he's got the sick nerd thing going on right here. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Dude, so, welcome, welcome, man. All right, right, let's go for it, man. And uh, so I have a, a good friend of mine. He streams. Whoa, what just happened? Is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I I just stretched it, man. That's good. Okay. So my boy Foxy Nice, he streams uh, high-level Iron Man content time to time, focused mainly on PVM skilling. But yeah, that's my boy Foxy Nice. How's it going? Good to be here. How's it going? And now, before we get into it, Foxy, you want to describe your hair for the audience? (laughs) Um, Ease them into it. It's like a shark fin, you know? You ever backed up into somebody with that while they're bending over? Dude. I, Maybe once Fo- or twice. I've never spoke to you before, Foxy, but you know, you remind me so much. Oh, no. See, can I get oh, this no. thing? I, I, I was just checking there wasn't like no you jizz or you porn was going to pop in. <laughs> oh, Wait, <my>. Wait <laughs> what's his name? Mr. Retzion? Is that Jimmy Neutron? Or... Oh. One sec. I don't know why. Oh, you just remind me of him. Yeah. Have you heard of this guy? Uh, no. I swear he yes? usually wears like green shirts Is as it well. Is a female? He does like he does stupid drama videos and stuff. Oh, oh, is that the onion? Guy? That no. dude, dude, that dude. That, <laughs> like you just remind me of him. Oh, <laughs> actually, look oh like him. <laughs> Tonight on we roast our guest. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm sorry, man. It's just the first thing that yeah, like came into my head when I saw you. It's like Mr. Repsion. All right, I'm sorry, I'm done. You you can take the piss out of me if you want, man. It's all cool. Go well, you're it. almost getting to where he's at. Just a little bit more, Ixie, <laughs> and you'll be yeah, there. yeah. Honestly, <laughs> just chill it up higher. My my, my hair is clean, dude. Look at that. I I can I can wear it as I please, man. Yeah, that's it's right. clean, but it's also getting there. You know, it's just fucking a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're Foxy here. Nice Junior, man. Ooh, that's rough right there, man. <laughs> So Yo, don't remind me, man. <laughs> apparently, everyone got their pure rune when they logged into RuneScape yesterday. And feel free to tell us down below if your account was rolled back yet, or or got ripped to shreds. Thankfully, I was PKing, and I, I don't I don't even realize it, but I saw Pure Spam was talking about it all over. He was trying to spread awareness on Twitter about the defense options and the attack options being all mixed up. So I don't know too much about this though. All right, Foxy, yeah. you know about it, right? Um, I believe it was only the attack style options because I'm was not... it? Yeah, I'm a pretty avid Reddit uh browser, and it looked like only people gained uh attack XP. So what I believe happened is when they implemented the new update for your weapons remembering the style they were on, it uh they had to basically reset everything to be like a standard, you know, just like the top left option. Uh, and what that did is a lot of people that normally would have their weapons set to like strength and they would just log back in immediately and start training, uh, it was set to attack. So they were gaining attack XP and with third party clients hiding those options, uh, it looked like they had strength selected. However, they were actually on the accurate style getting attack XP. And if you, oh, because if you were a specific attack build, you were fucked. Yeah, exactly. Obi yeah, Mall like Obi definitely. Mall why did oh they? Why did they even update it? Like, what? What was the reason what behind were, doing it? What were they doing? All right, uh, so it was one of the polls that passed. Yeah. Okay. You know, quality of lifescape, right? So you know, people, I guess, apparently complained that if I switch from a uh, like a say a ranged weapon to like a melee weapon, you have to like redo the styles every time, right? If you're switching oh, between two different weapons, so they weapons. stay. Accurate on range, and you'd be strength on melee. Is that yeah, a new... yeah? So they changed that a thing? it so they remember that. That's and... sick. That's actually an insane update. Yeah, but it it also created a bug. Oh yeah, well that yeah. sucked ass. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that sucked ass. And if you uh, didn't know, audience, third party clients like Runelight, you can actually hide your attack options with uh, this plugin. So it makes it so that attack and defense don't show if you're like a strength pure. And that's why people are getting mixed up, just in case you didn't know that. Because a lot of people still don't know about the attack hidden option, which is really good for peers. I didn't know that, mm-hmm. but that's just another reason not to use third-party clients, man, by the sounds of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> it's a good time, all right? It's a very good Gracie time. Gracie is man. clean. He's not oh, dirty and you know, soiled. Dude, you know what I would have loved to seen? I, I would have <laughs> loved it if all those pures messed up their accounts. And that's coming from someone who's got a maxed AGS pure, so I can feel that pain. But Worth then less. Jagex just turns around and goes, sorry, we're not we're not helping you out of your account. That's what you get for using third-party clients. If they did, I'd have been, that, that's a bore oh, move, man. That's, that's a bore move. Rough. Isn't it rude? <laughs> using third-party clients though, because they don't update their own goddamn client. Right. I mean, it is, Imagine. Come on, yeah, man. It, it's not even Jagex's fault, really. Well, kind of. I but... mean, the bug was their fault, <laughs> though. <laughs> kind of. I mean, you know how long bit. it took to get the spec orb to show up in vanilla client? Like that oh, was years, been years, yeah. literally years. Finally, get that in there. I could have grown five full beards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like you can't blame people for using third-party clients when, like, the original client blows ass. Yeah, like, yeah it does blow juicy a lot ass. ass. It, it's gross, dude. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't watch that video. That's all I'm saying, dude. It's that nasty. <laughs> it's a lot yeah, of ass. So, uh, I, I don't really know the backstory. I just saw all this blowing up earlier on Twitter. So, did, what happened? Like, did the accounts get rolled back? The servers get rolled back? Like, what's the deal? Jagex in the process. Tweeted, yeah, Jagex tweeted out. Like, hey, watch out, defense peers. But you know, not everyone follows Jagex or Runescape on yeah, social media, um, much. Twitter and social media. So how how are people going to know? So they didn't think it all the way through, and now they're in the process of rolling back. And I hope they do because I believe a lot of people got slapped. Yeah. So they're like, oh, if you got affected, follow complaint under this link. But I honestly, I think Google. a lot of people are not going to have their fixed because. I don't who, think who it, wants it to go through that process. It doesn't seem like there's a way to, for them to track who the who made a mistake. I don't ah. think there's like that. So you have to manually like tell them, "I got fucked over. Can you fix it for me?" You know. Well, I'm glad that I'm yeah, glad they're offering that. I like this yeah. guy with two attack. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Have you, have they you there's like Obi Wallace in game. They uh, there was like, do you guys see that message about about peers? I was sleeping, dude. Oh, I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah, no, there was. So they had the update, and then a little bit, like I think, what ten minutes later, they had a new update in game saying that like all peers careful about your attack styles. Uh, but by then it was already too late. Someone already got 10k attack XP because <laughs> they did like because they they checked and they it said strength on the overlay when you hover over the mouse. But the XP strength, so. show attack though. Well, but all the yeah, but he was getting attack now. XP. He's getting, like a, he's getting like attack level every 10 seconds. AFK is trading, you know? <laughs> I don't know, but right. imagine, like, it's like, okay, well, I'm getting attack levels, but it does say I'm training on strain, so... Yeah. <laughs> and then he still continues to carry that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I yeah, I guess it was AFK. the worst account got ruined, because I know there's OB Maulers out there with 200 mil strength XP, which, why? Stop that? That's Jesus Nightmare Christ. Zone, bro, who cares, right? It's right, free. but still, <laughs> free, it's, that's a ton of time. Yeah, and it's man, AFK though. It's all AFK. Two hundred mil strength yeah. XP and two attack. Yeah, dude, you just team viewer. You go to class, get a few hundred k strength XP. You're slower. Yeah, but that's like over the like a year yeah. plus of doing that. It's got to be yeah. so boring. Oh my god. Oh, this guy. This guy is not happy, man. Look at all those, <laughs> those smiley faces on there. It's the, all those chins, mate. He's not happy. Oh, oh my god. Dude. Two defense. Thanks yeah, I, I think oh. those guys are gonna get their shit. Man, there's one reply to this dude. If it says 89 HP, not maxed, I'll be very happy. Ugh. No, it doesn't say that. All right, I'm disappointed. Well, that ain't that ain't a maxed pure. It's a good pure, but it's not quite maxed. Yeah, it's all right. You can. Yeah, it's all right. You know, not as good as my AGS. <clears throat> dude spent you time can. getting 93 wood cutting and 99 cooking, but he can't get 99 HP. What's that about? <laughs> what the hell? I want to know if the accounts that uh applied for the reset of defense or attack or whatever they got i, I want to know if that went through and how fast you know what i mean because if you file a report through jagex that your account got banned etc usually that shit takes a long time or it doesn't get done mm -hmm. so imagine think... more shit on top of this and do do they even give a shit about pking or peers probably probably not so i want to know do people actually get their shit rolled back i hope yeah. they do i, I think I really well do. olive did you say that it actually happened to you uh with what with one, of your, with one of your accounts, did you like get levels in something you didn't want? Oh yeah, I got two defense. I got you featured got on the defense. top ten. I got <laughs> featured on the top ten fails video. Oh, <laughs> Wait, when was this? Trolls? It was a prank. <laughs> oh, it was fake. No, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. At least an overlay. But yeah. no, it hasn't happened to me at all. Thank God. I like. I was about to join a raid after the update, and uh, <laughs> then someone put the Twitter post in there, 
And I was like, oh shit. And then I, I kept like testing out, like changing weapons and stuff, and how it switched to different like attack options, strength options. And I was like, I was too sketched. I was like, nah, I'm not raiding. I'm, I'm just going to end the stream. Like, that's it. <laughs> Four in the morning. Dude, I'm not risking it. That's Already smart. got two defense. Uh, yo, you smart, dude. You smart, man. Yeah, thank absolutely. God I PK'd until the update hit. Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been, I would have been angry. Man, got two I almost, I almost yeah. got two defense one time at Guardians, though, uh, on a misclick. Well, because like I had, I was using the rune light or OS buddy for so long that I had the options hidden for like yeah. a year, and I forgot which one gave defense. I thought it was like block or not block or the other one. <clears throat> I was like oh. in a room, actually, know you're trying to get points. You're like, oh shit, which one is it? And instead of waiting for it to hover over defense, I just clicked on the block, <laughs> hit a guardian for an 18, and uh, I'm 81 XP until. Uh, oh. So I'm like two XP left until two defense. Two it was XP. a 19. If it was one more max hit, or if it was one more no. damage higher, it would have been it. Calculated, we man. We saw your account, bro. It's scary, it's like... dude. It's scary. <laughs> I should have. I don't know how you can play the game like that. <laughs> no. Dude, this picture here, this is like the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> just another update day by bit? Jagex. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> just another update day at Jagex HQ. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. It was bad. <clears throat> they they should have put a bit more effort in. There should have been like max cash on the floor. You know, two defenses. But yeah, yeah, I like that. That's funny, man. Yeah. But it's been an interesting day for old school then, by the sounds of it. It is every single time. Well, not every time, but like whenever there's an update, shit hits the fan, man. Like yo, yo. Is, they right? keep it interesting. They keep it hey, interesting. Hey, let's talk about some other stuff that came out. There are some really good ones that some of you guys might dig. Like, a oh. lot. Yo, oh. auto enchanting jewelry, boys. What oh, the fuck? Yes. Go Ooh. on that, Mr. Rixie. What, no. hey, what yeah. you mean? Dude, that's that's an so iron enchanting man. recoils. I you know how annoying that is? Yes. 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 Where, where, where is this? Yo, re, it's on the homepage. It? It's on the homepage. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Real but anyways, that shit. auto Real enchant man. jewelry. So like games necklace, ring of recoils, anything, bro. One click does it all. But like, you know, in a row. I think it just queues it up. Wait, is it just I, like just 10 or me. the whole inventory? I think it's just whatever you have in your inventory. It does the whole, like, wow. If you click like a sapphire ring to enchant it to like a ring of recoil, it just does the whole inventory. Right there. Yeah. Oh, kind of like crush nest. Is it at once or is it like in a row? Imagine at once. Oh my God. In a row, right? Uh, yeah, it, no, it, it, yeah. yeah, it just, it does it progressively. Okay, good, good, good. So like um, a crush nest, right? Or yeah. what else is? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, that's cool. Like uh, cutting gems, same thing. One at a oh. time. I could see it. I could see it being a good update. I just, you know, yeah. As that's... an Iron Man back in the day, working for you, you gotta click everything, you know. No, it no, I'm saying, bro. You know how much no. shit I enchanted? Yeah. I, the I'm thing just is, yeah. I, I don't have a problem with like these. Um, what what do they call it? Something of life. Slice of life. Life of life. Of life. No, what what is it? They. they Slice of life. Jack, quality. Jack, quality updates. of life. That's the one. Like quality of life, quality of life <laughs> updates are fine. Yeah, I like this in this sense because it basically says that you can manually do it, which is how you've always had to do it, and you'll do it really fast. Or you can just do the slow process of clicking one and then eventually it'll do like all of them. Like when you open like feather packs, for example. Yeah, yeah. You know what it's I mean? Manual so, versus slow. AFK. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. I, I quite like that, to be honest. Like it just allows you to be AFK, you know? Yeah, and it's, it's, it's slower and it, it's fine. I like that too. And like yeah, another good one. Yeah. It's I definitely like a slippery slope though, where if yeah. they keep automating everything yeah. in the game. You I know? want people yeah. to suffer a little bit, you know? Yeah. Just something. I, I want mean, people to click, man. I, I feel like as long as they're it, if they make it easier, I like there being the option of doing it like the efficient way and doing it the fastest right, way exactly. as an alternative. I don't yep. necessarily have a problem with that. You know? A good example would be cooking crambams. Um either yeah, yeah. doing <laughs> one at a time. Yeah. Either you know the one at a time for like the uh, the, the slow method or just the full inventory. Yeah, you do one sick method or you do the AFK your ass method. Mm -hmm. Great. So what else have they fucked up this week? Um, <laughs> there's nothing else really. Uh, this other one's pretty good. Volcanic ash that you mine. How That's how we get? should start the podcast down. So it's saying, dependent you know, on hey your guys, mining just, What else has Jagex <laughs> fucked up? Oh. Today? Yeah. So so another good highlight is the volcanic ash. One. The higher your mining level, the more you get. Okay. Have you guys all done that? I've not done volcanic mining. Yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, nah, it's it's really just an Iron Man, it's an Iron Man thing. thing. Yeah. I've collected ash, if that's what you mean. I've done that, yeah. yeah no, no, okay. volcanic ash. You mine that stuff. <laughs> volcanic. Fossil Island. It's for yeah. farming, so it's for Kekonas. 
Yeah, for, we've been uh, in the wild too post. long, dude. Yeah, we've been missing out on all this shit. God damn. Yeah, man. You you spent too much time in the wild, you know. You gotta get back. It's to a the whole new land. game <laughs> when I start playing on my other accounts now. Just gotta learn all this shit. Konar and fucking Sonar yeah. and whatever the fuck. Yeah, so, okay, Kona, dude. <laughs> Do it, man. It's fun. I don't know. I'm like learning so much about it. I used you know, to like better the edge slapping belt. cheeks, dude. I used to just He's always PK, like, that was the... Like, Edgeville, dude. Olive, <laughs> Olive must, have, must have been a toxic player, you know, edgy. Oh, yeah, I could see <laughs> him roasting, dude. Now he's a gentleman. Roast. <laughs> I, I was like, good luck, everyone. It's fun. <laughs> I've happy heard, go lucky PK. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people complaining recently about the PvP rotor. Do you guys know much about that? Because I yeah, like, people, you mean like Vesta complaining? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like they're switching every time. They're switching it to a, uh, one of, or one of the other worlds so that people can get better ping from another place for like a so week. Pretty much half the player base is fucked at all times. It's uh, yeah, eh. based on the location yeah. or what? Yeah, yeah, it's a different piece. They they like there's uh, two worlds, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. they switch it back and forth every week, right? Yeah, I was getting like a hundred and fifty ping on World Three Eighteen. And then I'm getting like 40 ping on 319, so I've had to wait for it to switch. Yeah. yeah every time, Bounty Hunter is either great or it's so bad. Oh, and it's yeah. the only way to find kills deep, Bully, too, nowadays. I'll go to Green Dragons, dead. Go to Bounty Hunter. It, have you got those freezes yet where the whole world will freeze for like two seconds? Every yeah, it happens every fight? time. Every hour you'll get at least one. Oh. What is up with that? I it thought doesn't that was matter. Internet. No, Penguin it doesn't servers? matter what world you're on. Um, It always happens. That's the. It'll make me so angry because sometimes I won't notice. Like, I'm like, I swear to God, I, I got that spec bar right. It's like, oh, never mind, my kicker's not moving for. <laughs> yeah, everybody just seconds. freezes for three seconds, dude. Oh. It's frozen in time. You're looking and at it. And then the like... CC glitch. You know how? Oh my God. The stream snipers will camp a world where the CC doesn't work. So I'm doing a mass, and we'll log onto the world. Everyone's white dots. I get slapped. <laughs> Obnoxious. Nothing yeah. I can do. They just yeah. sneak in. Right. So, some shit. What, what do you guys think the alternative then for this PvP world issue is? Like what? What was it? Have they changed it recently, or has it always been like this? I no, they changed it because people that have bad ping from another area, like let's say it was hosted in the, it was hosting the UK. Yeah, I believe. So, okay. so the American players, especially West Coast players, that were like in Cali, they had like probably over a hundred plus ping trying to play in that world. So uh, those people are complaining that I can't. It's not fair because I have bad ping all the time against oh. somebody from like europe that's always gonna have good ass ping i've right. seen people come so, up the ideas why. of just taking some of the extra f2p worlds that are super empty due to mobile coming out like they're still kept quite empty and just make more pvp worlds if there's i mean a need. really right the only solution would be is that there's so many people participating in bounty hunter worlds that you need two of them so then all the europeans just go in one world and then all the american like I'd be down american with bounty hunter in. Two bounty hunter worlds would be pretty awesome for deep worldy content, because then multiple emblems for boss and PK, and just, it would it would be pretty sweet. I'd be down for that. Uh, yeah, I, and there needs to be enough combined. people though, right? There needs to be enough people yeah. participating, because yeah. like if if there isn't enough, then you spread out the small community already, and yeah. then it's like I can't. I don't know how many people are in Edgeville doing that. I'm just talking like deep worldy, because I'll teleport to people and they still do Slayer and bossing all the time there. But I I couldn't even imagine if there was two worlds, less competition, so more people would do it. I don't know about like Edgeville though. It might yeah. not have enough it, people it's pretty to dead. really. Like, it's either it's either like it's not enough players, or in your combat bracket, you have the same five targets over and over again, just recycling. Oh, okay. It's just like it doesn't boring. seem fun, especially on a baby. Yeah. Group. You just get. One I see. Yeah, yeah. All of has like, experience because you, you, I've seen you do uh, yeah. bounty hunter stuff. Imagine if all the worlds got combined into like an average ping or something, and like it'd be so many players and just oh, but. The, the ping. We, we ain't living in the future. Yeah, yet, no, it's just, yeah. It, just seems, it just seems like Bounty yeah. Hunter isn't that popular. Okay. Yeah. Well, nowadays, of course, because we're still yeah, waiting on rejuvenation. Yeah, because if, if you can only find the same five targets every time you play, then yeah, it's like, gets boring, does it not? But, right? And the only thing that keeps it alive is the emblem price. You make so much money. Oh, yeah. It's like oh, 150k. Making, like, Two mil an hour, it's just 170k, on emblems. dude. I bought. I had to buy a room pouch from Rexy a few days ago. I was like, "Damn, that shit's expensive." Dude, I could drop you a tier ten. I've been <laughs> so many, man. It's crazy, dude. Oh, it's so. Yeah, much he's money. been living his life in the wilderness, eight hours out of out of day. It's pretty much. It's, it's <laughs> been fire down under. It is super fun. Only thing that ruins it is when you teleport to people macing. <sighs> just you got a fun thing, and there's always some shitty thing about it. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. God, just make it fun, damn it. Just. Right. Uh, Fucking amazing, dude. But whatever. All right, so shall we what? move on to the uh, the Zaya rework? 
Was that a oh. gnome? What was yeah. that? Is that, that a merch? That merch yeah, it's a new merch. You know, Jagex needs some more side money. This is a limited edition sixth birthday gnome child. You know that in 10 years, this thing's going to be worth like 50 grand. And yeah. that, cool it right now. Out right of now. all of the things <laughs> Jagex has and all the awesome original items, they pick this George, curious George looking motherfucker. Look at <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah. Oh, it's I... so ugly. <laughs> I don't uh, think much thought went into that, to be honest. Yeah. Everybody just like, oh, that'd do. That looks nice. Fuck it. They should yeah. just put like the, the, the old all the man in, or, or, in a little the riding chair. Would love it. What, do they, Anything. what do they sell anyways? It's all done by that um, Angelscape girl. Did yeah. you ask her at RuneFest? The RuneScape no, Rune player. She, she's a really nice girl. I've, I've never spoken to her, but I like listened to her when she like won an award for something. And she creates all of this. Yo, yeah, she yeah. has some really fire really items. Like the Inferno cable looks dope. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, those keychains. Oh my, that's so. I, I look. I just moved into this new place, and I'm like trying to get pad? art and canvases. That's a canvas, a RuneScape canvas. I yeah, yeah. So... Did have that in the back of his uh, back of his wall now? He replaced it with a Halo poster. I have or no idea. Something? But like, I would totally buy that if yeah. it was a tenth of the price. That's ridiculous. How much was it? <laughs> how, how much is it? Right now? Thousand dollars? Two hundred pounds. That's oh, like three hundred dollars, maybe two fifty, two seventy five. We should open up our yeah, own that's shop. Very really expensive. Price, price, maybe. Maybe. I'll buy a Naruto canvas. For I mean, that, that, price. that is cool as fuck. Like I yeah, genuinely, it, it, it. dude. I'm when I when get invited to Giants, smell, I'm gonna have to ask for like, these. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. Smell like sweaty nerds, dude. Like you know, souvenir man for you know getting me. In, into the, the wilderness vents. smells like Thanks. salt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this doesn't. Yeah. Each area has its own scent. Wilderness <laughs> is super salty. The fucking oh. skilling area smells like Doritos. Eat, but... yeah. Doritos smells like grass. And dude, that'd be amazing, dude. Yeah. Wait, I'm a little bit confused. Is this of RuneScape free or is this of? No, this is RuneScape and Zaya. And this is a yeah, but the, and I feel like that says Soul Wars right there. Oh this? yeah, it's everything. It's it might every be iconic. Might be everything. Yeah, it's dude. a combination. Because they also have Zaya on the left. Mm -hmm. And and some areas that isn't even in the game yet. Is that a big ass mm -hmm. bird? Is that an Articuno on the left there? Oh right. <laughs> Articuno. What the fuck kind of bird? Mate, that's um what's that fucking aerodactyl, dude? That's clearly an aerodactyl. Yeah. That's a aerodactyl's <laughs> bones, bro. Come on. That looks like bones to me. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that like the it's probably a dragon or something, dude? Yeah, I'd totally buy that canvas. That's too expensive. What's this? Is this just a poster? 80 pounds. Oh. <laughs> just <laughs> just <laughs> download it, print it out for $10, dude. Oh, there we go, man. go and, and frame it. <laughs> just, just so scuffed. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are quite nice, though. I, I wouldn't mind one of these canvases, yeah. Right, yeah, this yeah. Is yeah. Go. This is this the, I cheaper, like them. They have cool. beanies, right? They have, like, Sarah beanies mm -hmm. and shit. They're pretty dope. Uh, didn't you say, by the way, Rice Cup, they're going to be doing some new changes to the Kakona part of Zaya? Yeah, yeah. So I posted it on the, the bottom of the chat. So if you want to open that up. But uh, like, basically. Ray Silvio is doing fucking cyber shopping right yeah. now. <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever, whenever he gets Jagger. to that point, whenever he uh, redirects it. But <laughs> the background <laughs> is that uh, Zaya, when Anishi um, came out, right, it was a massive piece of land with like four to five cities, but. Most of Zaya was pretty plain and just, you know, very simple. It started right? it's as just, Pangea, pretty much. Yeah, it just, it just didn't have anything. You know? <laughs> it, was, it was basically it did, a yeah, Rubik's Cube. Separated. You know, it was like a Rubik's Cube, for, like, split into a square. It was very generic, private service. It was blend. Oh, so they got rid of that fat-ass farmland. Thank God. I think yeah, was... they, got, they just got nothing going on, right? And, and obviously, they've been doing a lot of work to try to furnish shit up, add some flowers, add some grass, all that stuff, right? And, and and also make the land less like a square. So they've done a good job. Like, you know, they've been making some good changes. But they're not done yet. Now they're going to actually uh, go into uh, more detail into the cities. And they're going to basically revamp the cities themselves. Uh, so the first one they're working on is the Kekona part, which is the whole city area, the one that you see right now. I so like whole city is like the farming. That's like the farming town. Yeah. But right now they have like the type farm, which like is half the map. And literally is nothing. There's nothing there. Yeah, you know, that's, that's people the don't farming area, it. but the farming guild is not in that area. Like, I mean, this here looks like RuneScape. This looks like yeah, a, exactly. Like, like this is 
it's going to be. Not yeah, weird ass winding yeah. rivers. The, yeah, the best also, part of the, uh, but the most useless is that like um, the typhoon. No, not the tilt. Like I'm talking like a different area, the uh, mage area where you room. Oh uh, yeah, Osseus. Oh, the, the Osseus. I always thought like th- that was the prettiest area, but it was kind of yeah nothing. You know. Yeah. Like, so I never noticed you... the changes. Like all they they changed it what four times throughout the years. Well, they changed the landmass. We, we just <laughs> never go there. You know, every time we're like, oh. So so the the what? thing that they changed predominantly was the square you know how like zed used to be like square, <laughs> square? thanks yeah man. so now they added like some curves you know some of the curves like yeah get some ass in there you know make it look good that, so that, that's what they that did that looks nice dude i like yeah that. so so rixie if you uh go to Ma west's actual page in the in his time feed and you scroll down they have pictures of him in the game with the new models oh, like this. uh yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, there's a few. There's like a album of some or of sorts. Is that the newish area? Yeah, like the new area that it's gonna be when they once they uh change it. So he it's like in the test world right now that the models and stuff are. Okay, that. So, I mean, it looks a lot better than like this. That just looks. That, yeah, it's like there's nothing there, horrible. dude. Yeah, I'm glad they got rid of that fat ass. Yeah, square. so here's some more images square. that he was working on for for Z- uh Hosidius. With a hobo it is very it? under the radar, though. Man. People like just don't know about it at all. I only learned about it recently. Oh, that looks like Minecraft, dude. dude look that, at looks that. Like, that looks like that looks like that looks cool. That looks cool. That's that right. Like yeah, those like fuckers in Minecraft. Yeah. Oh man, that brings me back, dude. Yeah. I swear I built one of those bad boys. So I'm for, you know, like it's just nice to see that they're actually making things more immersive for the new area. Because yeah, I mean, otherwise it's just. Plain old private server extra I, I think I need to follow Mod West, man. He's probably he's got some. He's really amazing, nice... man. He's got some really good art. Like Shout I believe, Twitter, dude. I'm not as 100 percent sure, but I believe he's probably gonna work on all the other places next once he's done with uh the whole cities one because there's a lot. Oh, there, yeah. There's yeah. more cities in Zaya that obviously looks kind of plain as it is, like a lot of empty buildings, nothing going on over there. So yeah, there's there's a lot yeah. of work. That you think they're working on Zaya because they know if they touch anything in um like the RuneScape original area, people are just gonna fucking storm well, out. Well, because there's no reason for them to change the original area. The original area well, is already really to. packed. I bet they want to though, because they even tried to change Lumbridge and Drain Orbit, and everyone got fucking wild. Yeah, the they reason can. they changed that honestly was because of Zaya though. They wanted people to explore Zaya, so that basically they want. I, I would say it's a marketing tactic, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It was a marketing tactic to get people into Zaya so they can explore the new areas, right? So it's like it's just to tell people there's more than just the original landmass. You know, there's also exclusive content, right? Yeah, and Zaya really does like have twice. a lot of exclusive content, right? That's never been there in in RuneScape ever. We have yeah, raids, we have Slayer dungeons, right? There's actually a lot of content in Zaya. Uh, well, it's not yeah. for PvP though. It's just not for P- PvPers. Yeah, they, as a player that uh, I recently started playing old school only about two years ago. Um, I when I saw Zaya, I'm like, what? What is this? Like, it just it was just something that came out of nowhere to me because I played uh, like when old school released, and then I didn't play until like two years ago. So it was just really interesting to see that they made this like entire like other continent, but it's just lacking like decent amount of content. But they're getting there. I, yeah, I, I, remember, getting there. Yeah. I think it lacks character as well. Like this here, that just looks horrible. I don't. That doesn't look like RuneScape yeah. to me. Like what they want to make it into that right there, that looks very RuneScapey. That's I, I like that, you know. Yeah, because it, it like a lot of stuff is unpredictable, right? It's not like squares. There's too many squares in the original. Yeah. Like Zaya. Yeah, it just seems like it was like just this big nasty piece of clay they just threw down, and they're like, it's good for now, but we're gonna slowly kind of like mold it over time, right? Yeah. So we're slowly getting there. Uh, there yeah. isn't really anything wrong with that. I'm glad that they are improving it. You know, it looks. It definitely looks. Yeah, because like I, I mean. There. Like, I do not want them to touch any more original landmass stuff just because the original landmass is already filled with really unique content. You just never know what's going to be there. If you're a new player, right, it feels like unpredictable what you will see in the landmass, right? So it's already like that's good. They don't really need to change change the original game. Yeah. Honestly. So what was it? I, dude, I, I saw a load of stuff on Twitter about like them putting a pub in Lumbridge or something. Like, did that actually mm. go through? Yeah, yeah it's already so, there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's a new it's still there. I thought they took it out. No, it's still no, there. That's no. the one thing that they're what? like, well, we messed up this time, but we're going to keep it regardless. So. Uh, but, um, can we so go look the, at it? Yeah, Wait, that, was, that was a mistake? 
I think Goody spoke about it. Yeah. Well, it was just an unpulled change to like the original, you know, iconic. All right. Lumberjaya. So Lumbridge uh, had a house that was next to the general store, and they changed that to a pub, I believe. Yeah. I'm not like exactly sure why the bar. pub was there, but but the thing that really pissed people off wasn't really the pub. There I would is. say it's the boat. It was more so the boat because yeah. they, they added a boat to Draenor that would take you to Zaya, but the boat was ginormous. And Drainer is literally the size of two squares. You know, it's like nothing. Yeah. It's really small. So they put a gigantic boat that was like the size of Drainer, you know, the, the place. So it, it felt really out of place. So people are like pissed off. They're like, whoa, why you put it there? So then, so then Giant's like, okay, we'll move it. So they moved it, I think. They moved it to like near uh, the Wizard's Tower Bridge, which is more fair because it's more open area, more open sea. So it can accommodate for such a large ship or whatever. But yeah, like putting in in Draenor didn't make any sense. Well, they actually moved so, it to Port Serum now. Did they? Like, back wasn't again. it? It's oh, again? south of the pub in Port Serum, like right by the um, like the willow trees, like right by the shortcut. Yeah, you know what they should have done? They should have put it in the swamp area of Lumbridge because that place is empty as fuck. Oh yeah, and there's a lot okay. of open space in the Lumber Swamp Sea. I'm a little, I'm a little lost, man. What, what boat, dude? I have not been to Draenor in a while. Yeah, what? yeah. Anyways, they moved the <laughs> boat. boat already. Like, it, well, it didn't last. The what boat fucking didn't boat, last. though? The, a the boat, boat to are we Zaya. talking about? A oh. boat to Zaya. They had That's the boat, it. and they oh, so it was just like this thick ass boat, like just yeah, chilling just by the willow trees. Boat yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that'd be kind of cool, dude. I don't know. Uh, you know, um, what's Fossil Island? If you see the picture, you didn't, you didn't want it. <laughs> little Fossil Island, because I like the uh, bank stand sometimes in Fletch, and I want a nice little bank area. And I think that little island in Fossil Island with the bank, it's probably one of the best places to do it. But I feel like they missed out on the opportunity to put like huge fossils in the background and fucking uh, sunken ships and shit. Yeah. You know? Okay, no, okay. You know what? They should make that. I'm trying to Google it. I'm not going to bother. They should make that boat that takes you to Zaya, the massive one. They should make it into like. What's that boat off of like Pokemon Yellow called like the Titanic? NH something. S -S where, where, you S -S get, where you can capture Mew. They should put that in game, dude. <laughs> you can get like a rare Mew pet or something. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh, oh, you're talking about those event ships. Yeah, this. Do you know how many gr fat, greasy kids on Reddit would be mad about that? Oh my god. I don't, I don't care about uh -huh. those kids, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I I don't I don't really pay attention to that stuff. So are you telling me that I can I can no longer get to Zaya using that big ass boat which is in Port Sarum? No, you can. Okay, they, that's they fine. Moved. I'm happy. Yeah. They moved care. it. It's a little bit smaller of a boat now, but yeah, they should have made it big, big man. They should have made it into like a a quest I or like so. Big boats, dude. Like yeah. parts of the Caribbean. Well, boat. I mean, like the size. <laughs> it's just the go. size where it is at. They make sense. like that. Like how big it was at. But either way, they should put it in the swamp because the swamp is huge. There's so much yeah. open coast area that you can fit a giant ass boat. Like, okay. It'd be cool for the swamp is if they rework the dungeon in the. I don't even know if it's called a. Is that a dungeon? I don't even know uh, what the fuck cave system in the swamp. Dungeon, I just consider it a dungeon. That'd be yeah. nice. A nice little rework. It's kind of gross and dusty, and no one likes it down there. That's that probably what I'd... cool. Like it has its own niche. That's, well, that's do you cool. get? Do you guys like the gross dungeon of Lumbridge? I don't know. Maybe it's nostalgic. <laughs> it doesn't have I much use besides it. really low level. I don't really scenario, care. So. Right? Like it's it is what it is. Like it's I like think it's booty. I think it's a booty hole area. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tears of Guffix is down there, right? We're talking to the same place. Yeah, Tears yeah, of Guffix. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, connected. Yeah. It's that a place complicated. Is cool, but you got to get through the booty area to get to that area. <laughs> and yeah. they, they used to have. Back nah, man, you just use Games Necklace, bro. What game were they called? Computer. Tormented de Demons? Tormented Demons? Were they the yeah, that's, that that Dragon Claws? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to love that. I, I'm were glad it's not like that now. Yeah, they were undergrounds. You had to, yeah, you had to do like an end game quest King or playing Pokemon dude, or something. I, I used to love those. <laughs> I used to love those tormented demons because all you needed yeah, dude. was like you could take Black Dehyde, Noit Town, Climbing Boots, Dragon Hellbird, which was cost nothing back then, and like an MSB, and just you'd lose your bank PK and or stake in. You'd save that in your bank. You'd go there, get Dragon Claws, you're at yeah, twenty mil. Yeah, you're that's you're how I rebuild my bank, dude. Crazy. That's how many I did times that did you lose time. your bank? How many times? A, a lot, dude. I I was like, <laughs> you played on the edge, bro. To stake, I could respect man. that. Yeah, I lost uh, my dude, bank through yeah, Q-Logger. Yeah, so of Demons was some of my favorite content because I had my bank was was non-existent because my boy traded his party hat to my account and and I didn't have any shit because he traded all my shit to party hat. That's when, oh, so uh, you just got negative party at? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I logged in one day. I was like, where's my bandos? Where's <laughs> shit? And I see a purple party. I'm like, 
what else? Why don't why yeah, the party worst yet? one, dude? <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm like, oh shit, is my boy Chris Hover? He had a purple party hat. Oh, man. it was him, dude. So oh, yeah, Jack. No How money. many cards did you buy with that bad boy? I no, I couldn't even sell it, bro. I had to sell that shit for 150 mil, man, because nobody oh, wanted it. Oh, the mistakes. It mistake. was so bad. Oh. Yeah. No, now it's worth way more. It's like worth billions, but. I, oh, I needed money. Wait, was this God. when the trade limit was in? Yeah, yeah. Trade yeah. limit was a thing. Dude, oh. I remember when Bounty Hunter Craters so came sad. out, party hats were just like super cheap, man. If yeah, you it was back so cheap. Oh they were God. so cheap. I think like purple was well under 100 mil. It yeah, no, purple. Like literally, it took me a year or half a month, half a, half a year to sell it for 250 mil under the GE price value. Because um, I had to like put in, uh, I had to put like, he had to give me junk, 50 mil junk, and 150 mil coins, yeah. just to just to match it, right? But it didn't matter though. But anyways, for a while I couldn't even sell it, so I needed to make money. And like Tormented Demons came out, and I was like, "All right, I heard Dragon Claws were good money. Let's give it a try." <laughs> it it was not easy to kill when, them, but I sold Dragon that shit Claws for like 70 out, dude. mil, dude. I was at the gym with my friends, so and good. I just knew he played RuneScape, and I overheard him like, "Hey, what's up, dude?" I'm like, "Hey, have you seen the new Dragon Claw that just came out today? They're pretty sick." He goes. Yeah, dude, I bought them on release for 150k. Didn't like them, sold them. Now they're 30 mil. And he just was so <laughs> sad. And I'm like, yeah. oh, dude, oh I, my god. I was just about to say, with like the old trade limit, when they first came out, they were like, I, I think they were like under 10k. Yeah. And with that yeah, trade no. limit, you couldn't give more than that yeah, for them. Yeah. So yeah, it's just so much. Junk. Yeah, like they sold for under a mil for like weeks, maybe even a month, and then I gradually the, the price would go up. Yeah, yeah no, like, but, it might have been. I'm not look, sure, but it, it took a while for them to actually yeah. like hit a couple. Yeah, the GE, mil. the GE value never updated because people didn't want to sell it in the GE. People, what people did was like me. Trash when I got a Dragon sure. Claw, the, my first time getting it was like uh, a week or two when it came out. It was like selling for seventy mil street value, but the problem was was that the GE obviously only set it for like five mil or something. Yeah. So I had to find like seventy mil worth of junk. But I wish I had more though? junk. I wish I had more junk because I could have sold it for higher. But the problem was I needed money and that was all the junk I had. So I just like literally gave him a clause and like 60 plus mil worth of junk. And he gave me 70 mil, like coins. Dude, and I was able to make the trade. Trading. That it was so back annoying. In the day, man. Yeah. It, it, it was reminds me like caveman where they use two yeah. for currency. You, know? Dude, just you know, I had like <laughs> thousands and thousands of Addy arrows B plus plus from Zami Boss. They used to sell for like uh, the GE price for them were like two thousand GP each or something. Wow. So I was you able had to those get good a lot. Items. Yeah, they were shit though. They were nobody actually wanted to buy them. It's just like a way to <laughs> bypass the system. Do you guys mm -hmm, remember that item so. that people used to stake with? I, I don't even know how. Was it, it was. mint cakes? Mint cakes. The cowbell. Yeah. yeah. Mint. Do you guys remember <laughs> mint cakes? Yeah. I know what like, they are. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was like, like some fabricate. random item from some like dwarf thing you did, and it yeah. just had like a ridiculous value for some reason. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah they were, several they like were million coins. So yeah, and it was just some shit cake you ate for like two HP. But I remember staking yeah. them in the in the arena, like, because like staking died when they got rid of the trade limit. Because like, yeah, wait, yeah, it's hard. Oh yeah, because you couldn't you couldn't stake over like fifty k or something like that if you had. Yeah, they they wanted to kill mm -hmm. real world trading so hard that year. It was wild. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, they, it did work. They killed the game as well, but you know, yeah, yeah, it was they a killed a lot more. It was a double-edged I mean, sword. You got to crack a couple eggs to make an omelet, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, I I have a good one here. So we were talking about rares earlier. I kind of miss rares in old school RuneScape. Yeah. And I went, when I heard when they first came into the game, I'm like, oh my god, they're coming in, and they were going for like five or six mil. And I was doing a farm run because I was trying to find one for like twenty. It literally hours only lasted weeks. a day. I found a blue party hat chilling right next to me. I fucking freaked out. Sold it for like four mil. But now, obviously, they're not worth anything. Do you yeah, guys yeah. agree with how they implemented rares in old school? I don't. I, I wish there was some item pricing. It just oh, it feels empty. Very controversial, man. I mean, I like I'm on, I'm on the fence about that because I do understand like the value of having such a cool rare item. Because, you know, I played the game when it was like that. And I and I have one, and I regrettably sold it. If I knew it was going to be, like, billions, you know, in two years after, I would have sold it, right? Yeah. I'm like, damn. It's hard. Should it, I, do I want something the, like that again? The trouble with rares is that when they first came out, people didn't know that they were going to be uh, discontinued. Like, I don't think, like, people realized these... Like, they might have known it was going to be discontinued, but they didn't realize how much it was actually going to be worth. And that's kind of like what added to the special effect of it and made it so desirable. 
Whereas now, if they try to implement a rare, they need to say that it's going to be a discontinued item. And then well, people, yeah. mm -hmm. people are just going to hoard them. Like, look at Spark Mac. Like, dude's going to get donated like a million of whatever the rare item is. <laughs> it's like, what's the fucking point? You know? There's yeah, no, literally no point. Yeah. But I, here's I the deal. They can't See, I agree make... with you, though. Go for it, right? Yeah. Go for it. So, so, like, you know, let's say you're trying to make... Jagger's decided to make Party Hats rares. Like, no, it, it's too late for that. If they're gonna make a new, they, if they're gonna make something discontinued, has to be new items because you you brought up a point that Spark Mike literally has tens of thousands of them, right? If they discontinue that shit, this man single handedly controls the economy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Or a big chunk they, of it, yeah. Yeah, or like, yeah, yeah, no, like seriously, he's got Bitcoin and RuneScape right now, dude. Basically, awesome. he would be he would be the fucking mafia man, right? There. See, what, but what I'm saying is that we're not adding in items now, but do you agree with how they brought them into the game? Because they were doing random spawns, right? They were going for a couple mil each. They weren't too into the game. If they only did that for like a week starting off, and then those items and they just never came back after. The game. Well, well yeah, yeah, it would have been worth a lot if they did well, that. The issue with the I think that really items fun. is like they were an accident, right? Like how they implemented them and then discontinued them, right? And it just so happens that they gained a lot of value because there are like few left in the game. Well, I don't think they wanted that with old school because one. Yeah, like, that's what they said. Like, rwt with that if they just reach like astronomically high prices you know um and then it's kind of weird because like in runescape 3 for example right like a party hat's two bill whereas like the pvm items are like whatever they're set at but in old school the really high value stuff is the pvm items so i think it kind of you know takes away from the fact that like the items are worth value that have use rather than like a cosmetic hat that you put on your head well every you know? game that's really successful today is all about fashion scape though right fortnite even uh, apex coming out they I have guess. skins but the problem people just want to be cute that you don't have like a tra like it's bad but like runescape 3 has like their transmog system or whatever or any other mmo that's the only way you would get value out of it right is you could somehow cosmetically make your like you know slayer helmet look like this but it still acts as a slayer helmet right but that's not really old school by the way talking uh, of fortnite that just reminded me of a video i saw it. earlier i i want to play it because it was the funniest thing i i hadn't seen anything so funny in that. yeah make sure right, you right, right. that's it see you later yeah let's go <laughs> yeah, i'm with baldy podcast yeah. over boys sorry for the interruption oh man <laughs> No, no, drop, sorry. drop a fat dislike right now. All right, anyways, so while he's looking, I, I would just say I feel like I don't have any problems with cosmetic rares like party hats as long as you don't pay for it. Buy well, I understand party. why the the items gain value, but old school runes oh, should this. be. <laughs> All right, well, we'll watch this video yeah, first. Sh shout out to this dude, by the way. He's I, I I'm subscribed. What's to his him, name? He's just saying. Uh, Lagan. can't really see it. I don't know how to say it. Lagan, Lagan, Laganitas. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. But shout out to this dude. I, it's just in his video, and I watched this earlier this morning when I woke up, and I was like creasing, <laughs> man. It's the funniest <laughs> shit. All right, one second. Let me get this audio on. <sighs> what the fuck are we watching, man? <laughs> it is a RuneScape video though, so you tell It's a RuneScape video? Yeah, pretending to be a PGM, but little do they know Dragon Claws. OSR is anti PKing and baiting. What the hell? <laughs> right. Can you guys hear this? Fucking dog shit, dude. Yeah, it's Tfus. Oh no, you muted it, from? that's why. You muted it, so. It's not muted. It's, it's no, just really loud. The lowest volume possible. Okay. I'm still. Oh, I hear it. Can you hear that? I hear it. It's gonna yeah, be yeah, loud. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be loud on my end. So I'll just. Okay. No, okay. I, I can't actually. I'll just. I'll leave it full blast. It's fine. Sorry, right, boy. I can, yeah, it's good. I can hear. It. Uh, oh, come on! Don't, don't do the dance. Don't make this harder <laughs> than it has to be. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's the, uh, he's, he's, got, so. he's got a Fortnite color on, man, doing the dance. That's the best thing ever. Yeah. Oh, that's man. the best thing with those Anime nips, dude. Did you see those purple boys? <laughs> Holy oh, oh, crap. That, that was a mid back count. Whoa, mid No, no, I got those fresh boys. Like, uh, those were counted. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. They could cast spells. They're wands. Look at those <laughs> bad boys. One guard screwed out water spells oh, with that. Those codies, man. It's like it got two condoms on them, dude. Look at this. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, that's a mate. That video is We might get demonetized. Is, it, is, that like oh, a, no. is that a Reddit clip or something? Like, I don't know what his channel is. I'm subscribed to it, but 
I don't really no, know. I think he's an animator. I think that original clip is from something else, like one it's of those from Apex. Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember the, they had another version of Apex with Fortnite. I think that was the original one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Those Before we got nipple bombarded here. <laughs> oh, okay. So, on the rare subject again, man, I just. I know that they probably couldn't implement them the same way they did back in the day because everyone would know. But yeah. old school RuneScape without rares costing a lot of money doesn't feel like old school RuneScape to me. And I think the whole uh, reason I'm playing it is because it, it just feels, I feel like I'm reliving my childhood. You know what I mean? And I just kind of want the full package, you know, all that. I yeah, would, I mean, I'd like there to be rares because I'd feel like it would just be something nice cosmetic to save for. Yeah. And it yeah. would just bump the value of the bank. What it could be goals, you know? Yeah, what yeah. if you're not a PVMer? What if you just like to fletch and you like to yeah, so, skate, right? Because I'm never gonna use a Tebow properly. <laughs> right? So here's a question, right? Here, here's a here's another question. Um, do you think it's possible to make new limited edition rares? See, I don't know oh, if I like that idea. It would be hard because it would be hard. Because think about it, you party can't, hats. <laughs> think about it, you can't make the existing rares that that are in the game limited edition anymore. Well, they could because people people have already hoarded them. Yeah, but what they could do that's the thing. And this is just a wild card. I'm just throwing this out there. What All they right. could be like is just like, look, we want to implement rares. You guys can vote on this. What we want to do is any rares, any party hats, Santa hats, red Halloween masks, pumpkins, etc., that are on your account right now are going to be converted into the GP value of it into platinum tokens. So Spark Mac, I have like, I don't know, three, four bill platinum tokens instead of the party hats and then just do it all over again. But I think like in the long run, I don't think it would work because people will know that these items are going to be worth a lot of money and everyone's going to get them. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'd like well, those like, How do you... Maybe you get rares. Game, are you talking about like cosmetic? Because I mean, there's like third age and stuff, which is still no. No, nah, like holiday. Like, so, yeah. Yeah. Third, third age, ain't, oh, third God, age yeah. ain't even pricey, man. Let's be real. Third age is not limited <laughs> edition because you can <laughs> always keep getting them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's pricey, right. dude. Well, it's like how would people go about acquiring them for the first time, right? Would it just be a random drop in the world? Obviously, a, a sweet PvP tournament. God spells only. <laughs> Come on. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. well, because they released the Black Santa hat on RuneScape 3, which is like well, that one of their newest rares. Squeal wheel. Bullshit, oh, was it? Oh, yeah. No, we yeah, don't want that's that. How it, that's yeah. how it came in. But, uh... They, they'd have know. to make it very rare. Or it I, would I don't be know. like a lottery system, like, somehow. Like just, they, they could kill two birds you know. with one fat-ass stone. They could just make it, like, uh, they spawn randomly for, like, one week everywhere, right? And they could maybe boost Zaya's drop table, so people actually go to that shit, I mean, beautiful <laughs> island. Uh, Fossil Island, just random places, dead content. Because uh, they're always trying to get people to do dead content. What if you're doing, like, um... What's that one rum mini game? Last man standing. Rum, uh, no, <laughs> no, no, that's rum. Yeah. Yeah. rum that's a, that's a dev mini game. That's the there. Yeah, yeah like Trouble all these dev mini yeah. games. What if you're like the first one to do it that day and you just get something, right? You know, just dumb shit like that. And then these items are worth a shit ton of money. It's not like they're adding money into the game. They're just <sighs> uh, giving items different price. It would definitely mess with the economy. All but right, it would so get, uh, I, would, I would not want them to make existing rares limited edition because well, yeah, but they take them out hard. and then they put them back. <clears throat> yeah, but like you can't take them out either because then people are gonna be pissed that you're just literally deleting stuff from their yeah. bank. They be might someone... be mad. Oh no, they no, will no. be mad. The only, <laughs> yeah, but the only the only people that would care about that are those who hoard them. So Spark Max gonna tweet a million tweets saying, "Oh hell no yeah, to he, this. Yeah. Vote yes to the divine. I mean, yeah, it's you know, fair. follow oh, my dude. agenda, etc." I like Spark, but, most, but that's bullshit. Yeah, it is. Divine, I, I like Spark. I've watched him for fucking years, but he that pushes his fuck agenda like crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, but honestly, like, I just don't think it's a good precedent to set. It's not. Allow Jagex to remove stuff from anybody. <laughs> no, no, I I said that it'd have to be voted on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. On. I mean, even so, it's still like yeah, it might not yeah, get passed. But I you mean, said people would be angry. Some people would, but if you give them the chance to be able to make something rare again, just like old school RuneScape, give them a little bit of their childhood back. I feel like more people would want it. Yeah, I think. Smart yeah, no, but like, it, it, I'm saying it doesn't have He'd to probably be, afford all the rares. It man. doesn't like, have to fuck? be old rares, you know. I feel like it's already too late for old. Well, rares. okay. If we're gonna talk about new rares, I have an idea. What if we added trimmed shit to the existing rares to make them look better? But those trim things are limited edition for like a month. Maybe you just like certain. Yeah, like anything that like people that. don't have. Like maybe like a gold right spiky now. tip on a Santa hat, you know, or I mean, just like uh, a trim top on a party hat. What if they did some of the like? Uh, 
older. Uh, I don't know how many holiday items are in the game, but do we have All the Easter them. ring? Yeah. From, oh, we do have mm-hmm. that? Okay, never and mind. the bunny ears. No, yeah, I, yeah okay. like, just, just make... If you're going to go with limited edition stuff, obviously make it so that it's stuff that nobody has yet. And then I make don't want that limited. stuff. I want cool Santa hats, you know? Yeah, when just make their own Santa hats. When you said trim, check out that post about that uh, Paul posted on Twitter about the... Uh, Crack the clue too in the comments. There should like mm. some trimmed armor that could yeah, have been the reward is, um, or something. Here, I have the armor set right here. It's on Reddit. That's what it looks like. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. What yeah. do you think of that? <laughs> the dude, looks the a bit ridiculous, like, like the helmet. <laughs> Did he Honestly, like, just below just the helmet, over the know, top. Just, but... Yeah, just make make it hat hat uh like wearable like it wearable hat. That you know, terrible. we don't need a whole armor set. That's that just look cool. Ornament armor. Okay. It's like someone exploded in a black D-eyed set, you know, or just <laughs> fucking, it looks gross, dude. I like slim armor sets, to be honest. I don't know. That's just my preference. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they could do about rares. I do like what you said about the um, inactive mini games. It reminded me of, um, you guys heard of Guild Wars, right? Well, Guild Wars 2, the second one they yeah. brought out. I my played, friend I, made me buy that shit. Yeah, I've dabbled in it. I actually like Guild Wars 2, not for the gameplay, just because... It's visually pleasing. Like it's nice to just log into a pretty. game and like everything looks awesome. Like that's what I like. But they've got a really cool system where if you kill like mobs, monsters that haven't been killed in a very long time, regardless of level, you get like a shit ton of bonus XP. Like speak this is a wild card again, but if they made it so that rares dropped, maybe instead of it being mini games, it could be like you could be killing a monster that very few people kill or like are undiscovered or just like no one fucking bothers with them. And it could give you like a really rare chance of like maybe rolling a, a, a discontinued item or something. I I don't know. I really don't know how they'd implement um, mm. rare items into the game. They could. Yeah, I mean, okay, so for like a period of time, and then like the player amount would boost up to like double, right? If that's what they're going for, mm-hmm. just everyone's farming monsters, maybe P- PK and drop tables, emblem drop tables, just all that shit. Just very slight chance, even rarer than. Um, vesta and shit back in the rev caves or any fucking crossbows and they i think it would bring more people in we'd have an item that would uh be a, not a tebow and worth bills yeah, and but not fun. for existing rares though we Fuck have yeah so for existing that. rares no we already have so it. many dude it's too Delete late them. Them. no one wants them. <laughs> you think anyone's happy with one yeah, thousand no, party ass in their wow. bank who gives a fuck for new stuff you can work with that system pretty well if it's Delete like new limited edition so like like let's say it's like a different color party hat you still get a party hat, just a different color. Who wants you know? it? Boy, you already got the good colors yeah, what out. Colors, what are you get, like, what maroon? Colors do? Dude, have the black the party colors, hat. Man. Dude, dude black party cool. hat, brown party hat, already, whatever. Oh, who wants a brown party hat, dude? Look at yeah, my I don't know, as somebody, <laughs> orange party hat, right? Like Orange? Dude, orange there's so many colors you can go for. That there's a party hat in RS3, actually. It's, like, every single color. Yeah, it's rainbow. We have that. They gave that. They have that in this one? Damn it, man. I'm out of date. Uh, Honestly, <laughs> like, do the Christmas Cyan event party next hat, year. Light man. blue party hat, dude. Even that would be dope. Ooh, light blue? That's yeah, light thing, blue. Though, man. No one um, would, I mean, people exactly. would want these party hats, but I would want imagine wood hats, cutting and you got your fucking two bill weird fucking orange ass party hat and then a the guy's just chilling fine. with his 10k white party hat looking way better. No, way but then you'll be means. like, yo, your white party hat's trash. What it's, was better, it's much better looking. Dude, speak, it doesn't matter. It's speaking cheap. about add-ons, what if they made it so like end game PVM? Like certain bosses have like a crazy rare chance, like one in ten K, whatever, chance of dropping something. So for example, Zuck, Infernal, you've got like a one in ten K chance again an add-on huh. that you can use on a red party hat that makes the red party hat animated, like the uh, the infernal cape. Whoa. Animated uh, party sick, hats. Dude. But then that's, that's, so, that's so RuneScape It has to be new but, items. That's what I, it is. It's, it's got to be new limited edition items. It can't be what, old shit. Yo, what if Rick has a great idea, man? Like, you know that Inferno Cape moves? What if they brought in, like, a week? What if they did this, man? All right? And what if people voted on it? That all of your existing party hats, it'd be like, a, if you had, like, a thousand, and you'd, like, one in 1K chance to get one, right? And it would just roll it, and your party hat would be, um, you, you could have a chance to get, like, a one that moves, right? But it would never come into the game again. And if you gamble these party hats away, you'll never see those again. They won't bring them back in the game. So both they'll both get more rare. I mean, sure, you can upgrade existing, out of the game and they'll create newer animated ones, right? Sure. I, I mean, see. it's that's it's still my point, right? You you have to make new it. items that are limited edition, right? Not old items, right? But so it would make both make items, items as a way to both of them. 
to create new items. Sure. Well, see, at that point, then that. like the rich are still getting richer, right? Because only the, the people that are richer, hoarding right? them would be able to like turn them the in for that. Right? Poor yeah. people are going to be able to afford a well, rich party. That's not really that's not really a big game, concern right? because all those items, all those rares are so common anyways. It's, there's so many of them in the game already as it is. Yeah. They can just keep spawning the same old shit that they every year. You know, every year they spawn party hats, right? Like two two times. Oh, yeah, there's times even content spawn. creators that just fucking that stuff will boxes. never run out. But the but the thing is, is that if you make those items, like you have to do something to make it a limited edition item, then that's fair game for pretty much anybody, except for like, well, like I wouldn't say it should it, sh it shouldn't be just about like high level creatures, right? It should it could be like anything, right? Because it's mm -hmm. you know like you do anything and you can you have a chance to make it. Sure. I like that. I like the raffling idea, though. If you just turn your party hats in, like they view week, either teams turns to cash, or you could trade them in, and then you get like, uh, you know, a party hat that would last forever instead of just that week, you know, and then they just make them more rare. You'd still get your cash return, but it would just be rare. Like if you have a horde of them, you could turn them in. They could all disappear, and you wouldn't get anything out of it. Or I like, you get something. I do really like that idea, but I don't like giving you cash. So like if they just made it so say or bounty it like, points or something if it yeah. was like one in i don't know like a thousand for example like chance of getting a proper blue party hat and you trade in a thousand you get one you keep that but any other party hat which hasn't they'd have to make it look different they'd have to like kind of change it a little bit to make you know what if they just the deleted i don't know what if they, but I kinda what like if they just that. deleted the party hats dude what if it's just That's you either the gamble them or you get a prize well i mean There's it has to be voluntary option. deletion and like force delete. <clears throat> Hell yeah, forced it, dude. Let's go. They forced the dude. pub. Let's force more, bro. Let's I, get it. Communism, right? Yeah. I, I think <laughs> communism. What? I think I we're gonna be stuck on this subject. All yeah, time. no, yeah, there's no. Oh, okay, I'm down. Okay, okay, I'm down. Let's, I just want let, cool let's move on to something recent. Right. So, like the divine sigil that they wanted to bring oh, out. What are your, yeah, what are your we, thoughts? I mean, on we that did guys? talk about that already. They, that get voted down again, didn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah wait, they, they, that's not bad. It failed by about three percent. Yeah. Yeah, but it would have yeah. failed a lot more if Spark. I love mm. you, man, but come on, dude, you can't be doing that. That's. Yeah, well, in my happen. opinion, I think the shield uh, wouldn't be as OP in current old school simply because when the nice original OP, divine but... came out, we had summoning, right? So you would be able to carry, like, you know, a pack yak full of prey pots to make up for the prey points you'd be losing uh, with, like, the original divine, right? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, in current old school, you'd, it would be a trade off, right? It'd be a very niche use item of where can I bring extra prey pots to uh you know have the damage reduction be applied but also you know not cut my short really trip because i have to sacrifice like all my food for prey pots you know yeah yeah i i think all the spirit shields in the game mainly the ellie and definitely the divine are just really not necessary and that's why i'm mainly against it like if if it comes to the game it's no sort off my bag and obviously when they were voting the polls i didn't voice my opinion but i just don't think it's necessary. I'm not even a PVMer, but I know a lot of skill goes into learning those bosses, and even the plugins get in the way of that shit, right? Um, I just don't think it's necessary. Because the easier you make higher level items, the cheaper everything else gets because people are camping it, and the less skill out of the game. And really, at the end of the day, you're just clicking at a fucking square. You know, no well, square. what I don't understand originally is they pulled like the first like the three spirit shields that are in the game in one pull so it was arcane spectral elijah and then separately was just the divine i don't know why they weren't split up entirely well right? well because the only what happened was like why it, was divine so much more op you know like i know the yeah. effect better in concept um like, it's it's a bit muddy uh but i remember them pulling it all in one but then there was like people were saying that oh that's not fair because people are obviously going to say no to Divine. So you should split it up. And I think they'd split it up after that. Mm, okay. Yeah. It's probably just the way it sounds. And like a then... lot of RuneScape users aren't very, just like me, aren't very bright. They just, you know, if something sounds overpowered, they get scared. So. Well, I mean, no, because they, it was overpowered when they played the game back in the day. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's it, it, once it comes out, let's say the Renica comes out right now, it's not as overpowered because, like you said, there's no pack X. But... Going forward, though, I, I would be damn certain that people will say, oh, Divine isn't that useful. Let's make it useful. Can we uh, get some things that can bring a lot of prayer pots? That's exactly you know what, I mean? what and, happened. And then, like, I mean, you know, that starts. Yeah. 
You don't need pack yaks though. People just bring alts. Yeah, like, exactly. Now, like, 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 like nowadays, all the time I'll voice yeah. my opinion is against yeah. summoning because I do not want old school changing. No new prayers, no summoning. Please, I'm enjoying the game right now. I, there's I always, know, there's so always gonna be people wanting to make the divine Thank the way it was, right? So yeah. whether it's through alts or whether it's through your fucking spinny wheelie game, dude. Get the fuck out of here, you know? Jesus. Do you know what Do you know what made me laugh? Right, so. One of the guys I've moved in with, like in the last week, he, all he does is kill Corporal Beast in old school. Like he just loves it. He's weird. He just kills it all day long, right? And he's like, he's like, man, he's like, I hope Divine passes so I can solo and get myself a Divine. And I was just like, mate, if you think that you're gonna find a free world in that shit passes, I was like, you are fucking mistaken. I was like, I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna be there in my infernal cape, smashing all you fucking casuals in your fire capes. You ain't getting no Divine, dude. And I said, also, you won't be able to get the defense down when you go into your little private room if you're soloing. So you ain't killing that boss if that Divine comes out. But um, on a serious note, I don't think the Divine I'd like the divine just because it gives some diversity to the game and it's like an extra item as a goal to go for but it doesn't fit into old school with what we currently have in my opinion so like just occur I, I think if just occur wasn't in the game it wouldn't be as big an issue for me but like just occur it's like 15 percent of damage right a similar effect to like the divine the divine is 30 percent but if you have a divine plus just occur you're looking at 45 percent incoming damage that is guaranteed to be blocked that's, it would that's, be pretty that's almost yeah. half yeah. damage dude that's fucking broken the elijah and full justicer is broken a divine is a hundred percent guaranteed 30 percent damage plus the 15 from justicer that shit's busted that it just uh -huh. doesn't fit in the game yeah, as much as be... i'd like it to be there it doesn't you know yeah, there would be specific it, areas it would be super like, broken okay, like so, so yeah you go you go you go. oh well just like for example the one place it would absolutely be broken is the inferno just because you can sgs camp and spec your prayer back up so you could literally just tank every wave like no matter what yeah so yeah. Oh, it would case, make it for a yeah it would be completely utterly busted yeah Mm -hmm. I don't even think it looks good though. That this, green yeah. man. Oh, that <laughs> I, I used to flip the vines, bro. I love that look. What I they should do is just add it. a trimmed ornament kit for the Elijah and make it look like a divine. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, dude. That, oh, that would be kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, yo, anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. anyways. Lime green. So, so, um, right now, as it is, the vine doesn't have too many uses, I admit. But going forward, though, if they do make a lot of bosses where the damage that you just take is obscene right at levels that you've never been able to tank before then surely the divine definitely has a place for new content yeah. it opens up potential for new content right which that's, isn't bad at that's, all that's power creep yeah 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 yeah. that's what i'm saying right but i'm saying it's not bad that we we are we are introducing new content for people participating right because like eventually things are going to get harder right people are going to want harder things and stuff like the divine will give you some you know ability to to in, you know to tackle new difficult pvm right that that f for one it might like let's say a new pvm comes out it's very difficult the damage you take is insane right and you really need something like that divine then sure the divine would be perfect for that right right yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. sorry i okay. thought you were gonna say something else yeah <laughs> no, i agree with you but like but yeah in it, existing content there's nothing that can hit yeah. that hard yeah, but exactly. Really need it. So, like, imagine yeah. taking Divine and Full Justicer to Bandos. Like, you could you just don't stay need there it. forever. You know? Yeah, there's no point having. I don't like just. I don't like any of the. I don't think any. I'm not even a PVMer, and it annoys me. All this armors in the game. How easy do you want to kill Bandos? Do you not want to do anything? Do you just want to go? Yeah, no, I don't. Over? Yeah, that's that's where I uh, I want you guys to think about, and you you and you basically well, said that right. I just don't want Divine to be honestly interacted with old content because, mm -hmm. like, I feel like. In, at this point in time, we've already reached levels of equipment and weapons that are so strong that it, sh it, it just makes the 99% of the game, which is existing old content, old school content, like mediocre, right? Like literally because of a twisted bow, you use that shit on Sarah Domain boss and see how stupidly easy that boss is. Yeah, right? it's, it's great. Like literally, <laughs> I can three-shot Sarah Domain with a T-bow. It doesn't mm. feel like old school at all, right? It doesn't... I'm like, damn, this boss is nothing. This is like a fucking giant mole to me. <laughs> hey, oh, only so, item yeah, I like, like in the game at the moment that's brand newish is like the ferocious gloves because they have an offensive bonus, but they also have a negative defensive bonus. I like that. 
right? Because it gives you more skill. And if you're going to boss with yeah. it, you need to be on your fucking game, right? Or you're going to be yeah. losing your, your food, etc. There needs to be more armor that has some sort of twist in it. It can't just be yeah. all defensive, all offensive. There needs to be some sort of balance. So there's still skill, but if you do the skill right, you're slapping ass. I like that. I don't like... I, I want something in between. It annoys All right, me well, it's, it's, this is very controversial, but at the end of the day, we've, we've already realized that we've kind of peaked. I feel like we've already peaked in terms of how strong weapons can be for existing content, right? Because like stuff like Blow Pine Twisted Bow are just basically slap ass. They just make every content that we've ever felt was fairly difficult, non-difficult, right? Just True. because of how strong they are, right? Like stuff like God Wars is just... For the most part, very most of them are very insignificant, now, especially Saradomen with like stuff like Tebow. So I feel like if you're gonna introduce more weapons and armor that has those insane capabilities, right, of efficiency, right, when it comes to PVM, like you have to make them so that they don't they can't interact with old content at maximum potential because otherwise you're just gonna keep introducing new content, right, that will satisfy new content, like because blowpipe will satisfy stuff like theater of blood, right? So it's the bow will satisfy higher level content. But at the same time, you're also devaluing old content, right? So you have to, when you start introducing new overpowered content, you can't, you can't have it interact with old content the same way that it would interact with new content, right? Yeah. Because it would devalue the yeah. old content. Yeah, I feel and then it would. Yeah, exactly. So there needs to be some sort of limitation. They because can be remember, remember yeah, when you have, you have to watch that? like, a Mr. Mammal Guide for a fire cape, right? Or, or you have to watch a Mr. Mammal Guide to do Zammy. Yeah, you just slap on some gear, stand there. You know, I just fucking. Who am I supposed to be praying? Oh, sorry, I didn't even. I didn't even fucking know, dude. Oh, look at that, Zammy has to. That's, you know, fire cape. Oh, what the fuck? Am I supposed to? This can one shot me. My bad. I just two hit Jad with my full void elite and fucking blowpipe dragon darts. I didn't even know. Were there, those were healers? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's more so for a twisted bow. You know, the twisted bow can out DPS. Like, yeah, seriously, you can out DPS good. with the blowpipe too. It's dumb, probably, dude. yeah, probably with the blowpipe, yeah. but not it's as not dumb. as easy though. But but yeah, so that's what I'm saying is is I, I feel like Jagex needs to create a system where new overpowered items relative to old content is is like either forbidden from use, which I don't think they should, but more so like there's a, way, well. <laughs> there's a way for you to downscale those weapons if it interacts with all content. Yeah, so yes. like um, a good example of how that could work is like think of like the scythe, for example, right? Just like it's an OP item, right? But it's only really good when it's charged, right? And when it's uncharged, it's sort of like, you know, like a whip it's ass basically. or whatever, right? So let's it's say we have like a, a new melee weapon introduced, right? That's intended for some new like crazy boss, right? Only when you're fighting that boss is it in the charge state where it's super OP, but in any other content, it could be like the stats of a whip, for example. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's like pretty much the system right? that I feel like Jagex inevitably have to design. Whether yeah. they, they, they categorize it as like, you know, in the future, we're going to be introducing, you know, these classifications of weapons, like this type of ranking, right? Where basically these weapons are designed for stronger content. Right, yeah. but but we're gonna make it so that mm. if you try to use those weapons to interact with old content, it'll just be like the same stats as your default weapon. See, your... I find that funny though because I always I always laugh at PVMers because what's the point of PVM? You're PVM at a boss to get better items to kill that same boss, and I find that funny because what the fuck? Just if you never kill that boss, you'll you won't have to you know you're fine. Dude. You just set up. Straight. <laughs> I never but you want to. Though. That's such but a you want to look at it. You're dude. killing the boss to kill the boss faster. I just never understood that logic, and this is really going <laughs> into that logic where it's like I'm gonna farm this boss, get the best item from this boss, and then I'm gonna start killing the boss again. Like what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I always see it like uh, well yeah no that's, that's why main wild, PVM right. might not apply to you because like that's kind of yeah. like what. PVM. That's exactly like what it, it is, dude. But that would enforce that even more if you couldn't use some of that armor on other things. You could only use it on the thing that it's most useful on to drop. Well, it. no, see, that's the thing. We can, we we're gonna let you use it on other things, except we're gonna make it nerfed if you're gonna use it on other yeah. things. Yeah, that's okay. what they did with the uh, with crossbow. It's only in the wildy. It's like a new weapon and stuff. Exactly. So it's kind of like yeah. a, another example. I like that. The crossbow yeah, so like, and everything. Like twisted bow risky. is kind of like weird that. because. Technically, Twisted Bow's potential isn't fully realized uh, if you're outside of raids, 
But even so, they, they didn't really nerf it outside of raids properly because it's still super broken in yeah. a lot of places. They did it on Zora. Like, I feel like they should do that on Sarah as well. Yeah, yeah. So, like, at Zora, what they did is is that it's max hit potential. Like, let's say... Um, it's a 50, isn't it? Or a 60? Yeah. So, like, theoretically, if there was no cap, right? If there was no cap, I, I believe at Zora, the T-Bow could probably hit, like, 70. So, like, basically, any time... Tebow was supposed to hit like a 51 or anything between 51 and 70, it would just go back down to 50. That's what so, it did. Yeah. So you guys are proposing, this is kind of how I see it, because um, a lot of games like Diablo and stuff like that, they have these weapons that work well, like the undead or like a different monster. So instead of giving this certain weapon an over overpowered advantage against every monster, it's only yeah. good against certain monsters. So it's just yeah. more detailed. And I'd like that. Yeah. If it's just mm -hmm. yeah, certain it weapons are more be. detailed, I mean, so it's not overpowered everywhere. Yes. Yeah, uh, no, it, it has still to maintain be. its it price. Uh, an yeah. example. And it'd be strategic. Yeah, yeah, it has to be done because there's just no <clears throat> way for you to kind of constantly... I don't know why they haven't thought about it. Like, fucking they get need in the room, to do that. fuckers. I really, on, an example I think of, which I think would... I'd really like to see is like say you go into Bandos, say the divine comes into the game. When uh, you walk through the door, if it gives you a message which either says one of two things, either you can't go in with that tier that that high tier of gear, or as you walk through the door, your gear basically it, it gets lowered down to like a set bar of what is acceptable to kill that boss. So like I said, if you got Justicar and a Divine, that's 45% of damage like that you don't take. So say if like as you enter the room, it's like uh, with your items equipped or something, you will only absorb, uh, take 30% less damage or whatever the Elijah and Justicar is. Because you're mm -hmm. completely right. The yeah. game needs to evolve. We need new bosses. We need new items that are exactly, progressively yeah. going to get better. But that will kill off old content. Let's not do Which is RuneScape... 99% of the game. Yeah. Like RuneScape 3, prime example of like, it's a piece of history that we should learn from. We don't want to go down that path. There's things we can take away from that game that they did very poorly and improve on. And that could be one of them, you know, if they restrict the gear or the special effect or how powerful your item is yeah. when you're killing low level bosses. Like, I, I 100% agree with that. I think we just fixed the whole game. Because that'd be like spirit shields <clears throat> for adventure. Okay, let's take the word spirit and make it real. Um... Hmm, what's the word for it? Okay, so I'm just going to explain it. I don't care about that word. So say it only works on spiritual monsters. And if you go into Bandos, Bandos, big-ass fist, just going to knock your shit out, all right? It's not going to do anything. But if you go to Corp, it'll work. Maybe some of the higher-tier armor. But it doesn't work on every boss. It's just like a side effect. And everything has a side effect. Because everybody in RuneScape loves the lore. They love strategy. They love the camp yeah, yeah, videos we just and have settles to... videos, dude. Yeah. So they would eat this shit up if every little weapon had some sort of things. You couldn't use it on this that and it yeah. goes into the it lore just, it just strategy. has to somewhat make sense that, that's the problem you know mm -hmm. is to make it immersive make this type of you know uh nerfing uh depending on where you are it'll get nerfed like make that immersive right like a uh, aspect of the game and it'd be a pretty big job to do but i feel like jagex man we got a bunch of people who played this game for a while i think they'd be up to it like they they know their shit so it, it shouldn't be too big of a problem they just have to come mm -hmm. up with a game plan like every item falls in the category. Spirit shields could be like a spiritual item, you know, certain side effects for that, you know, they won't work on yeah, everything. Um, work on stuff like that. Yeah, that yeah, dope. yeah. I mean, like generally speaking, uh, it, it could be as simple as classifying it through a certain amount of like, I would say tiers, but like, you know, types, whatever, right? Like, like weaknesses like Pokemon. Well, like, because we, we have, you know, little bits and pieces of that nicheness, right? Where like, oh, yeah, T Bow is like strong against magic creatures. Uh, but but the problem with that type of everything uh, I don't want to talk about it yet, but like well, <laughs> Dragon Hunter Crossbow is strong against dragons. We have those type of things, yeah. but the pro but but like it's gonna be a similar <clears throat> thing that they're gonna have to consistently do, which they are obviously doing right. But I'm just saying like stuff like Blowpipe, right? It's not really a niche weapon. It, it's just a straight up power creep. Yeah, right? it's, it's just it's, it's just a weapon that can pretty much annihilate anything. Yeah. It doesn't need a particular weakness for you to destroy a boss, right? So like so I'm talking about those type of weapons where, you know, besides a niche, I mean honestly and, and honestly even the twisted bow is on, on the category of a blowpipe because even though it is niche based on magic stats, the problem is is that most boss have high magic stats because yeah. of how the game works. I mean So like effectively T Bow is basically just another blowpipe because At least you the can't... blowpipe's rare. Uh, sorry, the T Bow's rare though. Yeah, at least yeah, the only you know? But even so, it's like you can't really consider that niche if it just ends up impacting a majority of bosses, right? A niche yeah. literally means 
for that specific like type of thing boss like the few selections that is good at right whereas the tebow isn't really that niche because you can go honestly anywhere with that shit right mm -hmm. pretty much bring it almost anywhere There's so, a lot so of yeah they could go yeah. so so that's the problem is that when you introduce weapons that are just far superior to anything that we've had and it just can almost dominate everything like a blowpipe or a twisted bow mm -hmm. you have to set limitations on 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 where you can you can use this full power right because otherwise it's just going to be a t-bow slapping sarah's cheeks you know yeah, well, like three hit ko that shit so would that be the new way to if because they're talking about like nerfing blowpipe and stuff and twisted bow and dragon claws would that be the way to go about it because like for example Kraken, they're gonna have like, to <laughs> you can't use a blowpipe yeah. at kraken because it's like it doesn't work so that's a cool little they can yeah yeah i mean they're gonna have to at some point maybe not for the twisted bow and blowpipe because it's already like pretty iconic and been here mm -hmm. and whatever but i'm just saying for new content if they're gonna make new content that is as broken if not more broken than a blowpipe or a twisted bow like uh, honestly even though the vine isn't even near that type of level offense uh because usually <laughs> the game evolves around dps and the vine doesn't have any DPS yeah. functions so like yeah anything like a blowpipe twisted bow or even stronger than that right it's perfect for new content because you can make bosses that are designed around the dps power of the blowpipe or twisted bow, right? But obviously, old content you can't change the old content. It is what it is. It is old school, right? What if you made it so it wasn't worth, right? Because um, obviously the blowpipe is pretty overpowered. But if you use myth darts, you know, adamant darts, yeah, rune darts, fuck, dragon darts, nah, that's you're it. dead. It's over, right? Yeah, it's so what over. if you scaled up the amount of scales it took? So you started iron, regular, you know, steel. They like made one point two times the amount of scales it uses you get i mean up to honestly even then you, you're still offensively the same so that's not the point we have to lower its offensive cap capabilities in places right? well, yeah but it will get to the point where it's like dude it's not even worth it it's not yeah, even worth it makes sense to increase the cost uh, like it would i'm not saying like you know, for slayer right yeah. because like, everyone uses both for slayer but like just certain bosses you know it would, it'd yeah be, yeah no I, I don't like at this point i feel like the blowpipe and twisted bow is a lost cause i like honestly trying to <laughs> nerf it it's just going to be too hard because people are already so used to it. So I'm not even going to try to go on a crusade for them to try to nerf it. If Jagex nerfs them, then who can, okay, they can do it, right? I'm I'll not going to stop them. Yeah. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to like, you know, say anything about it. Like if they do what they got to do, but I'm saying for future weapons though, on that Ooh. level, they have to set a system where they just can't, it just can't like interact with old content the same way that it will interact with old, new, new content designed for stronger challenges, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. in the future, for example, so like let's say Tebow drops from like Chamber, Chambers of Zarek, right? And it's it's still effective there because you can hit really high numbers. Let's say like Tebow, but it's only only the effect is active in that like raid, right? Whereas outside of the raid, it's just like a magic longbow or something, right? So they could do that with like future. Or like raid. a Carol's crossbow. It, it would be worthless yeah. though in that case because uh, it would only be good I mean, for one thing. I guess. Well, I yeah. mean, that's kind of like what the scythe is a lot of times, you know? <laughs> yeah, because the scythe is so scythe is a good example of like it's mainly only used to farm yeah, more right, theater yeah. blood. Like, yeah. And, so but that's where you get the scythe. Otherwise, that's why it didn't hold its value. You, Mandos, you can't really I mean, use that, it. It's still one bill, dude. Silver bill. I, I <laughs> yeah. it was free bill, and then it just dropped insane. I mean, it's it's floating Tebow around. Was at one, one bill. bill. I think it was like two bill first, and it just kept its value. Yeah. I think the yeah. No, I, yeah. honestly, the scythe is gonna stay one bill. It's not going. No. Nah, I've, I've never had out. a scythe. Uh, the only thing I see people kill with a scythe is Cerberus and Tob. Is there That's anything it. else yeah. it's yeah. good at? Is it good at Rates. anything else? It's okay, at Bandos, but not Chambers. Chambers. All right. Yeah, it's it's like it's way more niche than a Tebow. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that's that. how it yeah. should be though there should yeah. be it shouldn't everything see i agree with some of these offensive weapons but like i said the divine these defensive weapons uh not weapons but armor is where i kind of hold my ground we don't need them but if we make them niche if there's certain areas certain like uh yeah exactly that's well, how happening. you could do armor 100%. for example is like think of barrows how you get like a set effect when you wear the whole thing so think of new like raids armor but you only get that set effect in the raid Right, that'd be dope. Exactly. But it could have yeah, base stats sense. of like you know regular. You, know, you could still wear like inside. a piece here or there to complete your Slayer set or something. It still work, but it's not going to be great until you yeah. slap the whole thing on in a certain area. Boom. Yeah. Fix the and game. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's just a lot of ways they can do it. All they have to just be careful with new stuff. Yeah. Interacting with old stuff. Yeah. 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 Like the the core idea is we want to make sure old stuff is still somewhat difficult, no matter what, right?
Yeah. So so we have to be careful with what we what mm. we introduce new stuff wise, so that we can preserve yeah. the old schoolness of the old stuff. Right? I'm so with you on that, 100. Yeah. percent And I think yeah, if they made it capped, like so, like I suggested, like if you go in a bandos and it says like this effect is reduced or whatever, that is great. Like I I'd really like that. And if, if that was the case and that update come out, then they could pretty much poll any item. Yeah. Really exactly because. If you if you start getting really good at setting limitations on how new content interacts with old content, you can have so many new content and so many new bosses or whatever without much of a problem, right? Yeah. Because it can it, you can go as high as you want. It can be as like you can just release twenty new bosses and new Damn. weapons, right? And a lot of them Let's can go. be really strong stuff, but obviously those things are going to be catered for those, things, right? But but then the moment you use them on old content, it's perfectly fine. It's just like how it was always been, right? Now. If we're talking it might about feel new... a little artificial, though, but it has to be done honestly because I don't, I can't think of anything better to preserve new old content while releasing new content. No, okay. I agree. But it, so talking about new content affecting old content, all right. Yeah, uh, I remember doing barrows, and there was no barrows tabs. There was none of that shit. Yeah. So you tried to get as many runs as you could in, and that was part of the game, and it was a bitch because you, your hall, your prayer got drained. You got to make it back up the tunnels, or you just yeah, you use shit on prayer pots. <laughs> now you could do like forty trips an hour. Not not that many, but still, it's insane. And and you know, Vorkath yeah. is easier to get to. Zora is easier to get to, and it's that's definitely a problem in there to the point where you got all these older contents becoming super easy to do with the newer content newer teleport yes that's that's get the there. thing yeah there Rejuvenation needs to be something cool. done about that yeah, it, yeah. it's insane yeah. you could just farm these things to the living death and just have so many in the economy where barrows items are worthless now because you can do like a shit ton of runs per hour i miss the days where you know i was trying to do them without prayer pot so i'd like camp the edges right and do them really mm. now you do who gives a fuck, dude? Yeah, no, it's, it's it's completely different. That's what I'm saying is that it takes it, the fun it, out of it for me. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it has become a lot easier. So, I, but I, I I feel like there's still a way to stop it, you know, from like degrading the the old content further. Right? I still feel like a lot of the old content is still difficult. I still feel like a lot of new players complain about God Wars bosses. You know, I still feel like suck. most of the old bosses are still relatively difficult, and usually either because um, they don't have those new items to interact with those old, you know, to to uh, do the old bosses yet, or they just don't know about all these all these things that you can do to make them right. But, but it's good because I feel like there's still you know some difficulty for a lot of players for old content, which is nice because we want to preserve that, right? We want to make people feel like you know old school RuneScape's old content, the actual old content, is still difficult. Yeah, for the majority of the players, right? Difficult nostalgia. And so we have to make sure we can preserve that for just you know for anybody right for most of the players so that yeah. that's kind of like the, the goal here yeah i agree with all of that yeah it, it definitely does we don't want a runescape free v2 yeah i just don't want people saying like because a lot of people will be like oh god wars looks so easy in r3 well because it is uh, i'll be honest <laughs> with you, because it is all right <laughs> viewers man at this at jmods dude all right because i'm telling you this, this is some good info right here we're about to change the game just <laughs> well like not yeah shit. preserve I we're was about here. to preserve the game <laughs> Dude, right, right. Oh. that's what we did. Do you remember? That it is. I saw something yeah. the other day, man. It kind of triggered me a little bit. Do you remember yeah. a few podcasts back? I, yeah. I said off the top of my dome, I was like something about the purge and making like a RuneScape oh, purge. Oh yeah, right? yeah. Oh. man. I was tilted. I saw Abyss. <laughs> I've met this dude in real fucking life. I've sat with him. I've eaten with him. I've drank with him. Oh yo, he this, that shit, bro. This fucker <laughs> tweeted some shit. Like, just had this fucking great idea. What if they did a rune purge once a year? Right I was like, I was like, this kid's not even gonna fucking credit me in this shit. How do you spell this? Kid's name? <laughs> I was like, God, I killed this guy back in the day for claws and max at Mage Bank, man. I didn't fucking know. I was like, I even commented on it. I was like, mate, I even I said this last week. I said this on the podcast. <laughs> And yeah, uh, I saw that I just like, comment it. someone added me, like someone watches yeah, the Yeah, no, I was saying, they tagged me. I was like, whoa, how is this coincidence? How is this? In Abyss, he, he's the master of yoinking, bro. He yoinks. Holy shit. He yeah, dude, yoink, I, I remember I even slammed my fist on the desk because he got like 300 dude. fucking retweets or some shit. <laughs> what is this? Or like 300 likes. I was just like, oh my God, I'm too. If you man. watch Abyss, dude, have him, have him get some shout outs in, man. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, hey, like I'm credit, getting him on the podcast. Credit, He's gonna where credit is himself. due, man. No, I, yeah, I, I seriously think he, he got it off of you, though. Because there's, hey. you know how like specific that shit went? 
Yes. I was like, dude, this is so copy and paste. This, yeah, since no <laughs> PvP pools pass, I've got an idea. Got more guys, likes than we guys, got views on the podcast. Me, me <laughs> Abyss, shit, I have an idea. I have a great <laughs> idea off the top of my head. Never heard this oh, before. It just came to me from the fucking gods. Here it is. <laughs> Rune purge. Everything that I fucking said, dude. This dude, motherfucker. Oh I, I'll give him a like for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for at least it. Oh, good, good, good idea, Abyss. I agree, <laughs> man. Good job. Good thinking. Jeez. Yeah, I usually Honestly. don't want to assume things, but yeah, he definitely stole that shit. He stole the <laughs> shit out of that, mate. It, just, it was just the part where it said, I had this great idea. Like, all right. Okay. Yeah, you well, know what, though? Like, when, when I remember when you did say, I was like, in my head, I was like, this is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I was like, oh, that's a crazy good idea, though. Like, that'd be yeah. so much fun. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, you better tell me that shit three Instead days in advance. Instead of movie, something. we'd have the wish music on, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, I better be it. notified on Twitter, on Facebook, that it says Room Purge is happening. You better hide your kids, hide your wife. Oh, right. Fucking god damn, I ain't logged in. That's why the content creators would form a circle. We're like, we're getting some good ass videos tonight, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, PV ever hunts the PKers. I'll make my, my oh, video. We're, over, we're taking oh, yeah. out the woodcutting guild and shit. And then it's shit. just me killing people in Lumbridge. <laughs> It would, it would be great. It would. It'd be good fun. Uh, right. Yeah, do, nah, we, okay. do we have any other nah, subjects we wish to talk about, by the way? Is there anything else, boys? Uh, honestly, we just kind of going on a tangent. But yeah. I think we slapped the shit out of some yeah. content tonight, dude. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's been going on for a while. I don't know how long I've been recording, but... Uh, been, one hour and 25. Okay. All right. Should we wrap it up there then, boys? Yeah. Is there anything else? Olive and Fox? Mm. Uh, I think we got I think a pretty good job. I think we got set, talked a lot. Yeah, so we did talk a lot of fucking girls, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, boys, thanks a lot for coming on. Uh, both of you, where where can people find you? What are your social medias? Uh, just uh, let's see, just the olive <laughs> with the zero. It's for Twitter, Twitter and then uh, just Twitch is the underscore olive. Okay. And what about Maybe you, Foxy? Uh, my Twitch is the same as the name on scre uh, screen. Foxy Knights, Twitch TV slash Foxy Knights, and then my Twitter is Foxy Knights with a Z. Lovely. Ooh, so, all right. Ooh. Yeah, we'll post those that's, links in the description. Is there regular Foxy too. Knights on Twitter, like a um, a furry account or something? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I <laughs> watch out, boys. They're like a follower on the account. So. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for coming on, guys. It's been a pleasure. It's been good. Uh, yeah, so one much. second, though, before you close it. <laughs> Please Later, subscribe bitches. to the podcast, guys. Please subscribe to the podcast. There's no way they're not subscribed. They watch an hour. Yo, if you're bitch. not subscribed, then I'm, I'm going to have to notified. They're already here. They're already in. The, we're going to have the rune purge on your ass if you don't subscribe to this channel. <laughs> there we go. The rune Please. purge. <laughs>